In the NBA, I don't think there's a single topic where everyone is in agreement. In all my days, all the debates, takes, forums, media, I have never seen everyone come together and agree on anything. Until a few days ago. All thanks to this man. In a collective act unlike anything we have ever seen, NBA players have joined forces all to tell this guy he's wrong. The worst part? He might be right. I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? Really excited to announce the sponsor of today's video, BetterHelp. No matter your age, your spot in life, or the experiences you've been through, we can all use a helping hand, someone to talk to. Therapy can be an intimidating thing. Opening up and sharing your thoughts and feelings can be a tough thing to do. But BetterHelp is here to help. BetterHelp provides individuals with professional, affordable, and convenient therapy on their terms. Maybe you're an athlete who's struggling with the pressure of performance. Maybe you're entering a new phase in your life and feel a bit overwhelmed. We've all experienced times of anxiety, fear, depression, and it can be hard. But you don't have to go through it alone. BetterHelp provides quality therapy online at your convenience. And with a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network, you will have access to help that may not be available in your area. Getting signed up is super easy. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs, and then you get matched up with a therapist in as little as 48 hours. And right now, you can join 3 million plus people who have taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com for slash Jimmy High Roller. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com forward slash Jimmy High Roller. Not very often do the worlds of track and field and basketball converge. I would know. They're my two favorite sports, and they virtually exist in two different planes of reality. But a few days ago, the two sports collided, all thanks to one little interview that got blown completely out of proportion. So what better opportunity for me to blow it even more out of proportion? You see this guy right here? This is Noah Lyles. He's the fastest man in the world. And this past week, he pulled off the coveted triple gold at the 2023 World Championships, winning the 100, the 200, and the 4x100 relay, a feat that hasn't been pulled off on the world stage since 2016 by an athlete y'all may or may not be familiar with named Usain Bolt. Yeah. Noah Lyles is really good. And after his historic week on the track, Lyles had some strong words about the idea of being a world champion and how some leagues use the title when they probably shouldn't. That hurts me the most is that I have to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champion on their head. World champion of what? <laughs> the United States? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love the U.S. at times, <laughs> but that ain't the world. That is not the world. We are the world. We have almost every country out here fighting, thriving, putting on their flag to show that they are represented. There ain't no flags in the NBA. <laughs> Now, this sentiment of a domestic league claiming a world championship despite never facing other countries to win the title has been echoed for years, and it makes sense. In order to be a world champion, you need to beat the rest of the world. In 2010, Greg Popovich, who has been the head coach of the US men's national team since 2019, said, it doesn't make sense for an NBA team to call themselves the world champions. I don't remember anybody playing anybody outside of our borders to get that tag. Popovich, along with countless others, agree with Lyles. There's not really much to debate here. Until NBA players saw the interview.
in the most unanimous voice of opinion I've ever seen in my seven years covering the NBA. Players across the league chimed in on the discussion. Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, Damian Lillard, Draymond Green, Aaron Gordon, the whole damn NBA pulled up to drop off their two cents about Noah Lyle's comments. Have you ever seen anything like this? This man had the whole league descending on him over a few words. Every single one of them in universal agreement that the team that wins the NBA Finals are, in fact, the world champions. And you know what? They're right. The team that wins the NBA Finals in any given season are the world champions. And here's why. See, I love track and field. I ran it in college. It was my best sport. One of my closest friends, CJ Allen, represented the US and ran at the World Championship meet this past week. And so I feel I have a solid perspective on this debate. I understand where Noah is coming from. He didn't just earn the title of world champion by simply being the best in the world. He earned the title by beating the best in the world. The title of world champion doesn't inherently come from being the best in the world. It comes from winning a competition that includes the entire world. Or does it? See, in most other sports, like the vast majority of sports, in order to be crowned a world champion, you must win some form of competition or tournament on a world scale. Whether it's the World Championships, the Olympics, the FIFA World Cup, even the Little League World Series. A lot of sports fans believe the route to win a world title means beating the rest of the world, and rightfully so. But when it comes to basketball, specifically the NBA, I would disagree. The NBA, despite the word national literally being in the name, is a league comprised of the best basketball players in the world. It isn't some second-rate league, it isn't a sport that's only played here in the States, it is by far the best basketball league on the planet. In fact, out of 537 active NBA players, 128 of them are international players. That's 24% of the league. The OKC Thunder have nine international players from five different countries on their roster alone. Unlike a sport like American football, which is almost exclusively played in the US, basketball is a worldwide sport with leagues around the globe. The best players from every country all ending up in the NBA. Now sure, the NBA Finals isn't technically the world championship by definition, but an NBA championship team is naturally the world champions since the league is home to the best talent in the world. Would it be anything more than a formality to send, let's say, the Denver Nuggets to Spain to play the Real Madrid basketball club? Parade around the world to prove they are definitively the world champs? No. And yet, that is exactly what some NBA teams do. Since 1984, and held nearly every year since, a handful of NBA teams play exhibition games against international teams. And since 1984, there have been 178 of these NBA team versus international team games. Of those 178 games, NBA teams have won 161 of them, giving NBA teams a win percentage against international teams over the last four decades of 90%. In fact, the NBA's record against international teams over the last 42 games is 41 and 1. Look at this. The Blazers were one of the worst teams in the league last season, won only 33 games. I would know. Unfortunately, they're my team. Last October, they faced this team, a team out of the Israeli National Basketball League with a name I won't even try to pronounce. And the Blazers blew them out by 53 points. Here's another game from last season, where a ragtag OKC Thunder lineup played a game against a team from the Australian National Basketball League and beat them by 33 points. Half of these Thunder players don't even see the court in the NBA, and they still blew this team out. In 2019, the Cavaliers, who were the worst team in the entire league, faced off against one of the better teams in South America and smoked them by 31. This Cavs team was the worst team in the entire NBA, and they still ran a premier international team out of the building. Just look at these results from past games. They're almost all like this. NBA teams don't face international teams for world basketball supremacy because they don't need to. The best teams in the world, without exception, are all here in the NBA. If there was a world tournament for every pro basketball team to have a shot at winning a world championship, the last team standing would just be NBA teams. And then we just added a whole bunch of steps to what we already know as the NBA playoffs. 
but you don't even have to look into international competition to see how the NBA is a worldwide league. Last season, six of the top eight NBA MVP candidates were international players. The player who won the award, an international player, as was the MVP in 2022, and 2021, and 2020, and 2019. And in terms of odds, the player who is favored to win the MVP this upcoming season is an international player. So is the player in second, and third, and fourth. The first overall pick in this year's NBA draft is from France. And this is really nothing new. 10 years ago, the San Antonio Spurs roster consisted of 10 international players, which was more than the number of US-born players on their roster. Now, we do not have a world championship tournament or competition for individual teams, and I don't think we will anytime soon. But we do have the next best thing, the Olympics and the FIBA Basketball World Cup. And you don't need to be a fan of basketball to know how these games play out. In 1992, the USA men's national team began filling their roster with professional players from the NBA as opposed to amateur players like they did in past years. This is what led to the inception of the Dream Team. And since 1992, the US men's basketball team has played in 15 world basketball tournaments. That's both the Olympics and the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Out of those 15 world tournaments, the US won 10 of them and medaled in 13. Their total win-loss record throughout that 32-year span, 111 and 12. 12 losses in 32 years. The average margin of victory for the U.S. men's basketball team in international competition, plus 26 points per game. For perspective, the largest margin of victory throughout the 2023 NBA season was plus 6.5 by the Boston Celtics. The worst team in the NBA last season had a margin of victory of negative 10. When the U.S. sends out a basketball team for international competition, the gap between them and the rest of the world is larger than the gap between the best NBA team and the worst NBA team. So does winning the NBA Finals truly make a team the world champions? Well, technically, no. They don't face any international teams, they don't win a world competition, so by definition, they are not world champions. But I mean, come on. This argument is sheer technicalities and semantics. You point me to the team outside of the US that can beat the Denver Nuggets or the Miami Heat, the Boston Celtics or the LA Lakers, and I'll point you to a world champion. Being the best in the world doesn't simply make you the world champion, and beating the best in the world surely does. But what if the best in the world are all playing in the same league, and you and your team are the winners of that league? Well, in my opinion, for whatever it's worth, that makes you the world champions. 